can see, it is absolutely gorgeous outside. Sun's out, temperature's nice, and we are supposed to be self-isolating, so what better activity than a solo hike? I am down here on a creek that runs uh, kind of on the north side of, uh, of the city of Atlanta. My plan is to hike actually in the creek and on the banks about a mile and a half out and then back. So we'll see what we can get into. So when I do things like this, I like to bring out gear that really isn't necessary for the actual hike, but that I can test out. So one of the things I brought along is the CRKT Minimalist Neck Knife. This one in particular is the Bowie. Uh, it's super small. Uh, it's decently strong. It's not made with a very good steel, but for 20 bucks, what do you expect? So about 300 yards downstream from where we're at now, and that's where we're gonna go to, is where the sawmill and then later a grist mill was located. Uh, it was called Moore's Mill, and uh, Thomas Moore was born in 1828 and died in 1914. And he built his uh, grist mill in about 1854. So he was here before Atlanta was Atlanta, and then he was here um, in Atlanta and then Georgia during the Civil War. He moved out of this area um, in 1864, as the Federal Army was coming to uh, take over Atlanta and then subsequently fight the, uh, the battles of Atlanta. But he, after that, he moved out of the area in about 1901. And uh, up until 1901, the grist mill was still in operation. And during the Civil War, it did supply uh, the Confederate forces. So we're going to walk down there. Uh, from what I understand, there's, there's absolutely nothing left of the mill. But maybe we can uh, look around and see where it once stood. So I think it's about as good as guess as any to say this is about where the mill sat. Just based on some maps and then the actual layout of this area. This is wider than uh, any part of the creek that I've walked so far. And it's in line with uh, some historical markers. And then there's plenty of room on the banks for a structure that uh, you couldn't have had from the way that I came. So like I said, I think this is about as good as guess as any to where Moore's Mill sat. Set up. I got a 
fire going. My socks are drying off. Time to chill. All right, camp has been packed up, fire has been safely extinguished, and I am gonna head back. Well, that was a really fun uh, adventure. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. If I could do it over again, I probably would have gone a little earlier so I could have spent a couple more hours in the hammock near that fire. That was relaxing. My biggest takeaways, Under Armour uh, puddle boots are no good. I need waders. Uh, also, I found three driver's licenses, probably about 15 or 20 credit debit cards, a purse, and thousands of golf balls and I snagged a few of those. So overall, that was an awesome adventure. Until next time.